In this video I'm going to show you how to actually build a confidence interval. Um, and what we're going to be saying is that we know that the population is normally distributed. Uh, we don't know actually what the population is or what the information is. Um, but the standard deviation is 3.5. So we know that. So sigma is 3.5. We've got a sample of 10, so n is 10, and this is my sample, and we want to construct a 98% confidence interval for the population mean. Now, because we know that the uh, population was normally distributed, um, that would mean that the sample will also be normally distributed. Okay? And... That was coming from when we were looking at the, top, uh, the central limit theorem. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to have to calculate um, a mean, a sample mean. Okay, so we can pop these numbers into our calculator. So, uh, I'm going to do that now. So, the mean that I got was 131.1. Okay, so that is the sample mean. So then we need to think about, well, we want to construct a 98% confidence interval for the population mean. So we want to draw a little bell curve and think, right, we want 98%. So inside the two tails must be 1% each in order to make it all add up to 100%. So I need the z-value that goes with 1%, and that will be the inverse norm of 0.01. So if we do that, inverse norm of 0.01, or you can look this up in the formula booklets, so you get minus 2.326. And then this value will be positive 2.326 to three decimal places. So we're now ready to construct the confidence interval. Because the confidence interval will be the mean, 131.1, take away the z value, 2.326, times by the standard error, which is 3.5 over the square root of 10. Okay. And it will be plus and minus those two values. So, I'm going to do that on my other calculator, I okay? think. So, we're going to have 131.1, take away 2.326, times by 3.5, divide by root 10. So, we get 128.5 to one decimal place. And then, if I add instead, we're going to get 133.7 to one decimal place. So what we're saying here is that we can be 98% confident that the population mean lies between those two values. Okay? That was my sample mean, 131.1. Um, so, obviously, you know, if you wanted to check it, um, you might want to do several samples of 10 or increase the sample size to be more accurate. Um, but if you extend it to 99%, the further out you're going to extend the confidence interval, um, the more iffy very maths word, the more iffy the actual answer is in practicality, okay, and how useful it actually is. 